Hey guys, um, mid September here. It's getting pretty cold out, so I thought I'd do my probably my last aquaponics update before it freezes. So, yeah, let's just get on with it. So, I did a water check, and as you can see here, or if the camera will focus, my pH is at a nice neutral 7. My ammonia, though pretty through the roof a lot higher than I'd like to see it now we're looking at about a 0 0.5 to 1 my nitrates are as always you know a 5 it's not quite as easy to tell on the camera the colors aren't as true but it's a 5 for sure but my nitrates are 0 you know fish can't keep up with as much as the plants are just sopping up so we'll go over here and take a look. Here's what my tomatoes have turned into. Just this mess that goes out of there and all the way down to the ground. And there's just clusters and clusters of tomatoes on it. You know, it's just still flowering, still producing a lot. My pepper plants have shot up since I let my tomatoes grow down like that. But I have lots of, lots of buds, not really producing any peppers. I think there's one on the other side I'll show you when we get over there. Uh, my parsley I cut down. You can see the basil got frosted and, eh, well I'll leave it in there, it's probably done though. The beets that, you know, some of them took, some of them just did this. I'll show you the ones that took on the other side. They still got nice beet leaves that you can use for random things. There's my lettuce that's almost ready to be harvested for seed. There's my beets I planted on the back side, which I was doing the experiment there, but as you can see, they're all too close together. So, uh, this is all I'm getting. All right. Should have uh, thought that out a little better, spread them out more, but I didn't think anything was gonna grow by throwing the seeds in there because I wasn't having luck with it, but all of a sudden, it all popped up. Here's some beets that did do well. And you can see they're pretty big. They're just little beets anyways. And the leaves are immaculate. They look delicious. Here's some more tomatoes for you guys. And uh, here's a pepper that is producing. And I don't know if you can see you got a couple little, little, little guys in there. But who knows if they'll make it before the frost. Here's what's left of my fish. I had a cat fishing around in here. I still got all three koi and, I don't know, maybe six goldfish. But yeah, the frosts. You can tell my tomatoes are pooched. <clears throat> and just these two for some reason. I guess they're not as winter hardy as the rest. That's why you really gotta watch what you grow in here in Saskatchewan, because you know, mid-September and we had a couple minus three days already. Pretty chilly out. Oh, lots of cherry tomatoes yet here. This plant looks to be doing fine. Some nice big bells. This is the bucket gardens, of course. A bunch of bells on this guy. I've eaten a lot of tomatoes and peppers out of this garden already. Here, this is my upside down buckets. There must be easy 20 tomatoes on this plant. This was definitely a win in the experiments. Here's the black crim in the upside down bucket. As you can see, I got some large tomatoes there. And last but not least, the cherry tomatoes here in the upside down bucket. Quite a few on there, but not nearly what the aquaponics is producing for me, so. You know, will I aquaponic garden again? Definitely. Will I grow tomatoes in my aquaponics? Mm, don't know. Maybe if I grow them over the edge like this, so they don't eat up all the light and uh, smother everything else out. Here's my habanero plant. And I have nothing on it. I just, what I think happened here is the tomatoes grew so much faster than the peppers. 
that they, you know, they didn't get enough light. So, yeah. As you can see here, I got a filter, which I let the water run through so the bacteria can start. Just a average fish filter. So that I can take my fish in and put them in that tank over the winter or they will definitely freeze and die. So, that's my plan. So yeah, that's what I did this year. I might, uh, I think I'm going to build a greenhouse and uh, put a couple floating beds in next year. Maybe one floating bed and then one maybe a gravel sort of bed with an ebb and flow. But I haven't made up my mind yet. Yeah, hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, as always, keep going.